What we're installing is a 28 inch by 54 inch window. The inside frame measurements of the window is 27 and a half inches by 53 and a half inches. Studs that are run 16 inches on center have a 30 and a half inch space between here. We've got 30 and a half inches. If I put my jack studs in there, I'm going to be at 27 and a half inches, which is the size of that inside frame of that window that's going to go in here. But I'm going to have to cut my jack studs. Keep in mind my 2x6 header is going up there and my 2x4 plate going across here. I guess I'm going to cut this stud right here. And I'm going to cut it right here so that I can pull this out, put my header across, put a piece across there, put a plate across there, an opening for the window. Now I will leave a 54 inch opening up and down because at least I can, you know, move it a little bit uh, by leaving enough of a gap top and bottom. Um, and I can fill that in with the expanding foam insulation. So the plan now is to cut this out. I can't cut the wall board yet. The outside wall board can't be cut yet. Because otherwise I'm going to wind up cutting it below the plate and below the uh, uh, header. You know, and then you'll see it from the outside, you know. So I'm going to try to use my uh, reciprocating saw, cut all the way down from this side to the wall board, cut from this side to the wall board, see if I can knock that stud out. But the height, you know, I was going to follow those windows over there. These are 25 by 36 inch windows that came installed in the cabin, in the tiny house. But they were a little too tiny for us. So, to get a 54 inch opening, I'm going to wind up with the bottom of the window somewhere around here, the top of the window up here. And I explained to Gail, it's going to be because of where I put our bedroom wall, if I use two existing studs, it's going to be five inches off center. If I wanted to put the window exactly dead center of this room, I would have to add a stud here, add a stud here, cut these two studs out, and work from that. And I think this is number one being a bedroom. Number one, you won't be able to tell it from the outside, or number two, you won't be able to tell it from the outside. I think we can live with being five inches off center to uh, make life a little bit easier for installing this window. Um, this side, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get dead center because it's going to be more obvious from the outside. This, you got the whole length, you have no idea where center is from the outside. That one you'll be able to see. But I'm going to go ahead, do all my measurements, all my markings, and then I'll get the uh, camera going again. When I try to cut this out, that has to be cut out before I can do anything else. And if I can cut it right, then that will leave my uh, cripple stud up there that I can just nail into the top plate. I want it, everything will stay on the center, 16 inches on the center like it's supposed to. This will have to be cut not 54 inches, but I'll have to cut 54 inches plus an inch and a half for a plate going across the bottom plus five and a half inches for a two by six header on top of it. So that's to get my 54 inch opening. So you have to take that into consideration when you're cutting this middle stud out. If you want to save it, if you want to just knock it out, and, you know, put a, cut a new one for the bottom, new one for the top, you don't have to worry about it. I say why cut, knock it out, use it if you can. So I'm going to give it a shot, see if I can cut it with a reciprocal saw, or yeah, with my saw doll. 
without damaging the wall too much. And uh, uh, we'll see what happens. If I can't get that done, I've never tried to do that before, but if I can't do that, then I will wind up knocking the whole stud completely out and nailing in all my stuff and then putting in a stud at the bottom, putting in a stud at the top. That's the route I'm going to have to take. So I'll let you know. This is how I'm going to try to do this without damaging the wall. You have to be careful, but it can be done. Uh, on my bar. And then from this side, hammer and see if I can knock it out. Then I can trim up the, if it splinters a little bit. Uh, wish me luck. Oh, it's splintered down at the bottom, Joe. That's all right. It worked for me, yep. and uh, I'm okay with it. I've never uh, I've never done anything like that before, so that was my thought. I'm really going to get free. <laughs> now we see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to try this. This is one of those, oh no, it's not going to, that's not going to work. Because I can't plug it that deep with a circular saw. But, if I can maintain enough control with this, I might be able to take some of that out.
Still the reason for making that so tight is it will force a little bit of spread in here to give me that little tiny bit of extra room. Uh, when I put that 27 and a half inch window, got to go down a little bit more in this 27 and a half inch opening. Yeah, that looks it's just a rough opening, so that looks pretty good to me. I can live with that. This bottom plate isn't really structure. Uh, it's just a nailer to nail the window into is all that's for. This is load bearing. This is structure because it's going to carry the weight of the roof. This one is not quite as, as critical, but that's my rough opening for the window. So now I have to find a spade bit so I can cut the opening, cut out my uh, opening here, and I'm going to drill a hole in each corner that my reciprocating saw will fit through. And I'm just going to go along with it and follow the whole outline of this frame. And then we should be able to just set that window right in here if I did it right. Let me show you the difference. Now there's no light in here, but look at that in. I got the window in. Uh, and it fit perfectly. It opens and closes perfectly. But of course, without the light, you can't see all the frame around it and everything. But what a difference it makes. And what a difference it makes with uh, uh, the temperature in here. I mean, just having that window open really uh, made a difference in here in temperature. There, I can kind of show how it's all framed in. And, of course, it fit perfectly, as I thought it would. Nothing's bound up. Window opens and closes smoothly. So, the next one will go in a whole lot easier. Uh, because I'm not going to be videotaping anything. I'm not going to have to stop, deal with the camera, Try to talk my way through things. I'm just simply gonna throw the window in. I'll probably come out tomorrow and do that. But I got my door finished framing in. Got the bottom plate cut out. So that's my doorway into our bedroom. We now have a window in our bedroom. And Gail's cleaning up now. So I can finish up the videotapes so we can get the heck out of here. Uh, I can get home because we got a lot to do out there but I'll show you from outside I don't have the trim around it yet because I want to get them in before I get the tape and caulk and trim but I'm, hey Bo there's the neighbor's dog <laughs> oh my goodness are you nuts or what? You are absolutely nuts. <laughs> but there's the window. We got one of them in. And it took me longer than it should have because 
that's probably the first window I've put in in 40 years but it sure makes the whole house look better and inside it makes it brighter and cooler so I know once we get the window on the end when I put that one in tomorrow uh, it's just gonna make it that much better so we're happy we're getting ready Gail loves that uh, John Deere push mower she got out here and mowed in front of the house uh, while I was in there cutting wood that was clean up time to go home I'm tired I think it is so hot in there that it just takes it out everything out of you you're just beat to death by the heat and gotta take a lot of breaks that's all I can say uh, but we got a window in that's what I told you we were gonna do and tomorrow I'll put the other one in but hopefully these videos help and you get something out of installing a window and you see how easy it is here for somebody like me who doesn't know what they're doing but I love how straight it is with the line I mean as long as your jack studs and your studs are plumb and your bottom plate is level you can just set that window in there push it in and screw it and you go on to the next one so it's the prep work that's important now those studs weren't plumb if that bottom plate wasn't level we would spend an hour jacking with that thing trying to make it look right and uh so as long as you do you know take your time getting all the framework prepared uh they'll go right into place i was a little worried about being the you know exact size but i knew i was plumb and i knew it was level so it wasn't an issue all right dear i'll come help now that you're done, oh, I'm done now. i know that's what i said i'll come help now that you're done but this is Joe and Gail out of St. Bernard Acres. We'll talk to you later.